Hello and welcome to the tip of the week. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mobile Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. So this week I want to talk to you guys about Parvo. We have been having a horrible outbreak of Parvo here in El Paso. Uh, we're seeing up to 20 cases a week right now. Um, it's all over town. Um, it's extremely contagious and it can affect any dog of any age if they don't have all the vaccines at the right time and the right sequence of them. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over that again and remind people that uh, parvo can be a deadly disease. It is a virus that is passed by fecal contamination and it's extremely contagious. It stays in the ground for up to 10 years. It's very hardy in this area, so we can see um, parvo cases in people that have moved to a new home and maybe they don't know that there's been a parvo animal in that backyard and they get a new puppy and they let the puppy out in the backyard. It can be contaminated that way. Um, another way is you may uh, keep your puppy inside. You may be doing everything just right to protect that puppy and maybe somebody, a neighbor, somebody had a dog that was just starting with parvo and they walked it down the street and then you walk down the street, you get it on your shoes and you bring it into your home. Um, that way. So it's extremely, extremely contagious and um, like I said, can be deadly. Uh, it's very easy to prevent if the pets have all the vaccines at the right time um, and uh, you know, as often as they need them. So basically what happens is a puppy should get the distemper parvo vaccine at around six weeks, nine weeks, 12 weeks and 16 weeks. So every three weeks um, for a series of four vaccines and they're not completely covered until they have all of those vaccines. And it doesn't work to do all four vaccines a week apart and have the puppy 12 weeks old and think that it's fully vaccinated. That doesn't work. Um, it also doesn't work to give one vaccine at 16 weeks and think, think it's fully vaccinated. They have to have all of the vaccines in the right order. And if they're a little bit older, maybe you've got a dog and it's a little bit older, then do the same number of vaccines uh, three weeks apart and you'll get them covered as well. Obviously, there is the occasional puppy that has a decreased immune system and it's not going to be able to fight off the disease as well, even with the vaccines. So every once in a while, we do see dogs with vaccines getting the disease as well. Uh, I feel that the disease has gotten worse in El Paso over the last couple of years. We're seeing it much more uh, serious cases and many more cases. And so the best thing is just to remember to give those vaccines. Uh, we also recommend that even if you get the puppy from a, um, a breeder and the breeder says that they gave the vaccines, we have no doubt that that happened. Obviously, I'm sure the breeder gave the vaccines, but we still want to get the full series done. Um, in this area, you're not going to harm them by over vaccinating. Um, it's much more of a chance that they'll get uh, parvo than they will get problems from over vaccinating. Okay, um, another thing is the vaccine, you know, uh, um, is about $9. So it's, it's really inexpensive. It's very easy to, to afford. Obviously, you have to pay for an exam um, by law, but the vaccine itself is very inexpensive. So nine bucks is a great price to prevent a bill of $2,000 to try and, and save your pet. Okay, so if you have any questions at all, if you have a young dog, if you have a dog that maybe missed, missed some of its vaccines or didn't get all the vaccines on time, give us a call. We'll answer them. We do have a Parvo survey out on our uh, Facebook. Take our Parvo survey and win a free vaccine. Um, and if you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.